Hello, and welcome back to Expedition Builds. You know, I've been running this two-liter e-torque in my 2020 recon, and I, you've heard me say it before, I, I absolutely love this drivetrain. It's a great combination paired with the eight-speed transmission of performance and reasonable economy, you know, especially my Jeep on 37s. So, however, you know, I have 33,000 miles on the clock now, and I've been wondering if there might be a little bit more performance we can get out of this fabulous two liter. So here's the plan. After doing a lot of research, I've selected uh, an intake to run. Um, I like the manufacturer's uh, dyno numbers. And uh, so I want to get that on the Jeep and see if I can actually feel a difference, you know. Um, I know with intakes, a lot of us have found that there, there, there can be a lot of noise and not a lot of performance. So let's jump into this one, take a look and see what, uh, what we discover after a new intake. Stick around. Here's a look at the stock intake on our Jeeps. The Jeep engineers did a really excellent job at engineering this, allowing for up to 30 inches of water fording at 5 miles an hour in a stock Jeep, and that's on 33 inch tires and no lift. Think about that for a second. So when I began researching which intake to run on my Jeep, I really was looking for a manufacturer who was using the stock air intake location drawing fresh air from outside the engine bay and above that front fender, keeping my water fording abilities intact, just as Jeep engineered. Here's a look at the dyno chart for Holly's intact intake. Not a lot of manufacturers are willing to post numbers on their intakes, and I was impressed that Holly did on theirs. Now, as you can see on the graph, it's making power right where we need it to. Now let's get a quick look at the intake, get it assembled, and then get it installed in the Jeep. I was impressed with the manufacturing quality on the intake. Here's the replacement air box that Holly provides with the kit. This will fit right into the stock location. And the parts bag with everything included that we'll need for the install. Check out the cool design of this air filter. A cone within a cone maximizing surface area. Here's a new intake track with the filter installed. At the top you can see the resonator. And this shot you can see the size difference between the two intakes. You can see how much bigger the Holly is. This is definitely going to flow more air. This is the stock air intake horn. We're going to remove this from the stock air intake box and assemble it onto the new air intake box, which will look like this. And here you can see the two factory grommets where the new intake box will mount. And here we go, intake all mounted in. I love that it almost looks stock, doesn't really call too much attention to itself. After I got the new intake installed, the Jeep definitely felt like it was pulling stronger. So I decided to go out and do a quick 0 to 30 run, see what that looked like. This quick test with my taser definitely confirmed my suspicions. We were making more power. My previous best 0 to 30 with the stock intake was 291. It should be noted that this 284 run was done on winter blend gasoline, which yields less performance. Okay, we've got the new Holly Intech intake installed on my two liter uh, turbo. And uh, let me tell you what we found after getting it installed. First off, you know, Holly states in their information that it's going to take two to 500 miles 
um, before you're really going to notice what the intake is doing or, or multiple key cycles. And I found that to be true on mine. You know, when I first installed it, you'll start it up and you'll say, wow, it's just, it's whisper quiet, just like the stock. So I don't, I don't notice much there. Um, but at about the 300 mile mark was when I really noticed, you know, come out, hop in the Jeep and uh, take off and go, boy, it just pulls much more solidly off the bottom. Um, it just feels like that torque curve has is, is really been expanded on the lower end, right where we need it. So um, here's what we found. Uh, I love the fit and finish. I think it looks damn near stock in the engine bay here, which I like. I'm a big fan of that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's drawing air from the factory location, which was important to me. Um, here's what you're going to notice. You're going to notice a, a, a much better torque curve at the bottom. You're going to have uh, a stronger pull uh, off of idle. Uh, the turbo just feels a little bit smoother. I think it uh, throttle response wakes up just a little bit more, comes in a little quicker because it's simply flowing more air now. So. Um, Loving this thing. In terms of noise, you know, you hear just a tiny, tiny bit more of the turbo um, at times, but it's really, you guys, it's really near stock levels in terms of sound. So this has been a great upgrade. Um, I can mention at the beginning of this video, you know, a lot of times installing a, an intake is an exercise in making a lot of sound. And not the case here. I think Holly really did their engineering on this one and they got it right. Um, this will wake up the two liter nicely and you will feel the performance gains. Also, I, I'm seeing a half to a mile better uh, mile per gallon on it as it breathes better. So anyways, all in all, it's a plus all the way around for me. I'm loving this. I'm gonna recommend this one for, uh, for anybody who's looking to add a little bit more performance uh, to their two liter. So next up, we're gonna do the exhaust and see if we can uh, continue to add a bit more gain. So stick around for that. We hope you've enjoyed this review. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you on the trails.